Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about Bayes theorem. Before going to start Bayes theorem, I will tell you the axioms of probability. There are three axioms or their probability ag axiomatic approach to the probability. Now the first one is let S be a finite sample space. A, B, a, a is a function P from the power set of S into R is called probability function on S if the following axioms are satisfied. These three are the axioms of the probability. The first one is P of E. Probability of an event is always positive. P of E greater than or equal to 0. P of S is equal to 1. Second one. The third one is P of union of I is equal to 1 to N E I. Otherwise P of E1 union E2 union and so on E N is equal to P of E1 plus P of E2 plus and so on P of E N. You can symbolically we can write this one. We can symbolically we can write this one in this form. P of union of I is equal to 1 to N E I is equal to sigma I is equal to 1 to N P of E I. These three are the axioms of a probability. P of E is greater than or equal to 0. Uh, axiom of certainty. P of S is equal to 1 sure event. And the third one is uh, this one. These first one, second one, th third one are the three axioms. If P of union of I is equal to 1 to N E I is any anywhere if you observe you can write this one in this form. Summation I is equal to 1 to N P of E I. Remember the three axioms. Uh, we are going to use this third axiom in Bayes theorem. The third axiom we are applying in Bayes theorem. To prove Bayes theorem. The Bayes theorem. The statement of Bayes theorem is um, let A1, A2 and so on A and B and mutually exclusive and exhaustive events. A1, A2 and so on are a mutually exclusive and exhaustive event. Let B be the independent event. Now here B, capital B is an independent event such that this B is in such a way that B is contained in union of I is equal to 1 to N AI. B is subset of union of I is equal to 1 to N AI. Then the conditional probability of AI, the conditional probability of AI given that B has already occurred is uh, the formula of Bayes theorem is uh, B, the, uh, the uh, event B already occurred, the conditional probability of AI, B is already occurred, is denoted by P of AI by B is equal to, the formula is, Bayes theorem formula is, P of AI into P of B by AI by sigma, I is equal to 1 to N P of AI into P of B by AI. The denominator is called total probability, the summation. Summation is there, the, the denominator is called, I will tell you the definition of a total probability also. Only the denominator is called total probability, theorem on total probability. This is the statement of a Bayes theorem. We are going to prove this one. To prove this one, what is given? B is contained in union of I is equal to 1 to N AI. I draw one diagram like this. A1, A2, A3, A4 and so on, AN, BN mutually exclusive and exhaustive events. The events are like this. A1, A2, A3, A4 and so on, AN. The, these are the mutually exclusive and exhaustive event. Now B is an independent event. B, in, B is there in such a way that B is contained in contained inside of a union of I is equal to 1 to N AI. B is contained in union of I is equal to 1 to N AI. Therefore, diagram, that's why we have drawn the diagram like this. This is B, this is, these are the events. Now, given that B is contained in, B is contained in union of I is equal to 1 to N AI. Therefore, from the diagram we can write, therefore B is equal to B intersection union of I is equal to 1 to N AI. Capital B, how can you get capital B? B intersection union of I is equal to 1 to N AI. This one we can write uh, union of union you can write outside union of i is equal to 1 to n b intersection a i. This one we are writing using distributive law. You can write the you can write the inter uh, union outside and uh, in how can you write the intersection outside means using distributive law. Taking p on both sides p of b is equal to p of union of i is equal to 1 to n b intersection a i. Now, by the third axiom, by the third axiom, we can write sigma i is equal to 1 to n. Here, I am applying the third axiom. 
i is equal to 1 to n p of b intersection a i p of b intersection a i uh, b intersection a i are mutually exclusive events that that's why b a intersection b is equal to by multiplication theorem of probability we can write sigma i is equal to 1 to n p of a i into p of b by a i because uh, these are mutually exclusive in by the multiplication theorem of probability we can write this one in this form that means p of b is equal to this one we have got now to prove this theorem what we have to do i will tell you and we have p of b intersection a i is equal to p of b intersection p of b intersection a i is equal to we can write using the multiplication theorem on probability we can write in two forms that is the statement is in two form and we have b intersection a i is equal to by the multiplication theorem on probability we can write this one p of b into p of a i by b therefore if you cross multiply p of a i by b is equal to p of b intersection a i by p of b therefore p of a i by b is equal to you can write like this now p of b intersection a i is equal to this one the above one in the numerator the upper from the above you can write the numerator this one we can write in the numerator p of b from the previous paper p of b is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to n a i into p of b by a i therefore this is the hence proved this one is from multiplication theorem on probability therefore this is equal to this one by this one the numerator is b intersection a i is equal to this one i replace p of b from the previous paper i replaced hence the proof now the next one is total probability the theorem on total probability if a1 a2 and so on an or uh, an are uh, constitute a partition of the sample space s and p of a is not equal to 0 then for any event b in s we have p of b is equal to p of b intersection a i is equal to summation the denominator part only the denominator is called what is the denominator total theorem on probability now we will see the first problem in bayes theorem you have to read the first problem very much carefully bayes theorem problems are very much lengthy first try to understand the problem read once or twice or thrice as many times as possible what is given what is given you find out then identify what we have to do see uh, i'll read the problem three urns are there there are three urns a1 a2 a3 contain um, contain three red four white one blue the first a1 urn contain three red four white one blue second urn contain one red two white three blue third urn contain four red three white two blue balls respectively now one one urn is chosen at random and a ball is withdrawn one urn is chosen at random first one event happened one choosing an choosing an uh, urn is an event and a ball is withdrawn second event is happening already first event is happened what is the first event here choosing a, a, an urn one urn is chosen that means first one event is happened and a ball is withdrawn second event is a ball is withdrawing now it is found to be red and how much they have got it is found to be red find the probability that it came from urn a2 find the pro uh, find the probability that it came from urn a2 to prove this theorem now we will assume that uh, let a1 a2 a3 denote the respective events that the first second third urns are chosen a1 a2 let a3 r denote that denote that the first second third urns are chosen a1 a2 a3 are denote the first second third urns are chosen next let b denote the event of withdrawing a red ball event of withdrawing 
with drawing a red ball therefore p of a1 is equal to how much there are three urns are there only three urns are there out of three urns we are choosing one urn in how many ways we can do this one 1 by 3 p of a2 a2 also there are three urns are there out of three urns we can choose one urn in how many ways 1 by 3 why 1 by 3 3 is the total number of elementary events so we are choosing one urn that's why p of e is equal to m by n hmm? favorable cases by total number of elementary events total is three urns are there that's why 3 one is we are choosing one urn now in the same way p of a3 is equal to 1 by 3 because there are three urns are there we can choose one urn in 1 by 3 ways next p of b by a1 p by b by a1 now we are finding we are finding the probability of b already a1 is happened this is conditional probability we are finding the probability of b already the event a1 is happen one urn is chosen and one urn is chosen at random a ball is withdrawn drawing a ball is a second event denominator uh, second event p of b by a1 is equal to how many balls are there in urn a1 how many balls are there a1 urn contain three red four white one blue total is 4 3 uh, plus 1 4 plus 4 is 8 Bo uh, the drawn ball is a red ball red ball in how many ways we can draw one red ball out of uh, three red balls 3 c1 by 8 c1 is equal to 3 by 8 drawing a uh, we are draw, drawing a ball is a the b is a with, with drawing a red ball a1 is already the for choosing the for, uh, earn a1 b by a1 is equal to total balls in a1 are 8 balls how many uh, red balls are there there are three red balls that's why 3c1 by 8c1 in the same way p of uh, b by a2 because uh, choosing an urn is already happened we are drawing a ball a red ball in how many ways we can do b by uh, a2 contain how many 1 red 2 white 3 blue total is 3 plus 3 6 6 c1 by red uh, red is 1 c1 is 1 c1 is 1 only 1 by 6 p of b by a3 is equal to third one contains how many third one contains 4 3 2 7 8 9 4 c1 by 9 c1 that is equal to 4 by 9 therefore total is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 2 3 3 p of ai into p of b by ai if you expand this one p of a1 into p of b by a1 plus p of a2 into p of b by a2 plus p of a3 into p of b by a3 that is equal to 1 by 3 into 3 by 8 1 by 3 into 1 by 6 Plus one by three into four by nine. That is equal to if you simplify this one, seventy one by two one six. You will get. If you simplify, you will get a denominator. That means first we find the denominator value, total probability, total probability. The denominator value we can find very much easily. And after that, what we have to find. find the probability that it came from urn a2 it came from urn a2 the probability 
that the red ball came from on a2 is equal to p of a2 by b is equal to p of a2 into p of b by a2 by sigma i is equal to 1 to 3 p of a i into p of b by a i that is equal to this is the bayes theorem that is equal to p of a2 is equal to how much 1 by 3 into 1 by 6 by the total how much we have got already 71 by 216 if you simplify 12 by 71 this is the answer thank you very much